Yo. What's cracking, everybody? What's cracking, everybody? I'm making a. Uh, I, I just wanted to give my little thoughts, my dumbass little opinions on uh, the, the boycott Bayonetta movement. Uh, mostly because, you know, it's a trending topic. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> it's a trending topic. You feel me? And I figured, you know, might fuck around, get some clicks off of it. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm taking advantage of the situation for, uh, for views. I'm keeping a uh, stack. I'm keeping a real motherfucking buck fifty with niggas. But I got an opinion that I think a lot of motherfuckers not gonna fuck with, and I think I can get some rage clicks off you niggas. But I'm being 100 serious. I'm being 100. I'm keeping it 100 percent real, bro. But before I get into what I want to say, I want to say 100. percent First off, I support the the movement 100. percent Voice actors are getting fucked in in the entire voice actor landscape. Movie like animated movie voice actors, cartoon voice actors, anime voice actors, video game voice act voice actors, they all getting shafted. They all getting shafted, they all not getting paid what the fuck they deserve. And it's 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 crazy that the original Bayonetta voice actor, they they tried to throw her a little funky ass four bands to do the entire game. That's trife. And we, and we definitely shouldn't fuck with that. You feel me? So I want to get that out the way first. Like before I even give like the shit that I think niggas ain't gonna really like when I say I I agree with the movement. And I'm not buying better Bayonetta, but I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. I'm not a Bayonetta fan. I don't even like Bayonetta, so I wasn't gonna buy that shit in the first place. But uh I'm not fucking with that shit 100% because it's fucked up and I, I support the original voice actor and I, I hope that niggas do really, you know, follow through with they, with they bo boycott Bayonetta claims. But my thing is, I know you niggas not. <laughs> I, know, I know for a fact, I know for a fact you niggas is not gonna, you y'all not gonna stand 10 toes on that. And like, like, I've been playing video games for a very long time, as far as back, as far back as I can remember, right? And I've seen so many boycotts and like public outcry about different shit in the, in the video game industry, whether it's like the quality of certain games that's coming out soon or anti-consumer practices. And everybody like to make a big stink. Everybody like to make, everybody likes to talk a big game and be like, this shit is trifling and we not gonna support it. So when this shit come out, we not vibing. Okay, but then when the shit when the shit come out when the shit come out Niggas niggas run to their local game stop <laughs> Niggas run to the PlayStation store niggas run to steam niggas run to the Xbox store niggas run to the to, to Nintendo switch store niggas hop on uh on, on epic game store and buy the shit anyway You feel me like like I said I've been playing video games for a very long time I've seen a lot of different boycotts and public outcry about a lot of shit, a lot of anti-consumer practices and shit. I remember when uh when Xbox Live Gold came out, everybody was like, "We shouldn't be paying for uh for online services." I already paid for the console, I already paid for the game, and I already paid for my internet. Like I I pay my internet service provider. So why the fuck should I have to pay? You know what I'm saying? The 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 you know the console company or whatever to play the online games. 100% valid criticism. I still agree with that, even though. We lost the fight, and that's my whole point. Niggas, niggas talked the big game when that shit was going on, but still supported it. And then when PlayStation came out, they started doing the same shit. And then Nintendo was the only bastion. Nintendo was the only bastion where you didn't have to pay for uh for online services. Switch came out, they changed their tone. <laughs> now I throw, I throw Nintendo a little, just a just a little bit of bail, just because the Nintendo Switch should only like twenty bombs. It's still fucked up that we got to pay for it. It's 100% still fucked up. We got to pay for it. But I mean, like PlayStation Online is like 60 for a year. That's a whole game. It's a whole game for one year. <laughs> At least with the Switch, it's like, all right, I, I thought you niggas a little funky ass $20. You feel me? But that's a fight where niggas, niggas made a big stink about it. We lost the fight. I remember when when microtransactions got big in the in the industry, everybody was like, no, we shouldn't be paying for it. We already paid for this game. And y'all want me to pay for like, little content within the game that's some bullshit and it is it is 100 percent. but think about all the game like that was like that the microtransaction conversation was like in the early 2010s maybe i don't remember the exact like year or whatever when that shit like really became prevalent but definitely like early 2010s like around there right microtransactions are still out 
And niggas be buying them hoes. I ain't gonna, I ain't even about to sit here and act like I ain't never bought no microtransactions. I, I bought some microtransactions. I ain't gonna hold you up. I'm not, you know, I'm not perfect. You feel me? Uh, pre-orders and pre-order bonuses and shit. Everybody was like, yo, these pre-order bonuses is bullshit. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't fuck with that niggas. Niggas been telling motherfuckers not to pre-order games for I don't know how long. Motherfuckers still pre-order games and the motherfucking developers still give us bullshit for pre-ordering the games. Like the Pokemon shit, the new Pokemon game, the niggas like, yeah, if you pre-order this bitch, we gonna give you five cherry berries. Five cherry berries? Nigga, what? <laughs> You feel me? But like I said, my whole point is that niggas like to talk a big game. Niggas like to act like they give a fuck about this shit. Niggas get on a performative activism shit and don't really stand on their principles. Keep it real, bro. Ain't even just like I said, not even just the anti-consumer practices, but like the quality of games. I remember, I remember, nigga, I'm a, I'm a big Pokemon fan. I love Pokemon. I remember when Sword and Shield was coming out. Sword and shield, nigga. The sword and shield, the sword and shield controversy was huge, huge. That shit wasn't just diehard fans. It was the casual fans. It was niggas that hadn't played Pokemon since Generation Two. I'm talking about the Gen Oneers and shit. Gen Oneers was like, what the fuck? We not fucking with that. The 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 Nat Dex movement. Everybody and their mama remember that goddamn tree. You could, when 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 Sword and Shield like them few months before Sword and Shield was coming out, you couldn't scroll through your motherfucking timeline without seeing that motherfucking tree. Everybody acted like that tree killed their motherfucking family, bro. Niggas like niggas like why do you why do you hate that 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 Sword and Shield tree? Motherfuckers like because that Sword and Shield tree killed my grandma, okay? <laughs> and everybody talked the big game. Niggas like why did they took all the Pokemon out? It's only 400 Pokemon. They only they 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 took like half the the returning Pokemon out and and like you know. Now personally, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it just, just be transparent with niggas. I love Sword and Shield. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a stack with niggas. I love Sword, but I'm like I'm a competitive player. Not like I ain't trying to gas it up. Like I'm a I'm a pro or no shit like that. I'm not Wolfie or motherfucking Aaron Cybertron Zang here. Shout out my man's Aaron Cybertron Zang. I'll be watching the videos. That's my guy. But um. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, you know, a, a professional shit like that, but like, I don't look for Pokemon. I don't like the shit the niggas be talking about, like the graphics and like the story and the character. I don't really give a fuck about none of that. I rush through the Pokemon campaigns so that I can get to the, the end game, the post game and, and breed Pokemon and shiny hunt and, and, and fight niggas online. I don't really give a fuck about all that other shit. You feel me? So for me, Sword and Shit was crazy because they added so much cold shit for like the competitive, like. Uh, transferable breed moves without having to rebreed the whole Pokemon bottle caps, nature mints, the ability patch, and the second DLC shit where you can you can swap the ability with the the hidden ability because you couldn't do that with the with the regular ability capsule. They added a new item where you could swap the ability with you could swap a regular ability with the hidden ability. I ain't gonna get into all the Pokemon shit. My point is, I just want I just want niggas to know that I like I love Sword and Shield. I think Sword and Shield might be my second. It, it's Generation Five. Generation 5, Generation 8, and then Generation 3 for me. That's my top three right now. We're going to see what happens when, uh, when 9 come out. But, um, you know, and I, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to diminish the criticisms of that game, right? If that's how you felt, then that's how you felt. My point is that that movement was big as shit. Everybody was mad. All the motherfuckers in the Pokemon community was like, this shit is trifling, and we not going to fuck with it. That game is the second best-selling game in the whole fucking franchise. What happened to the energy? What happened to the energy? I need your energy. <laughs> niggas, I'm telling you, bro, niggas don't stand 10 toes on shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, lo, let's keep it real, bro. So all the shit about this, this boycott ban and other shit, as much as I truly do agree with the fight and agree with the movement because voice actors is getting played in the industry. All voice actors across all different forms of media, they getting played. I agree. And I, I hope that niggas would boycott the shit for real. But y'all talking a lot of shit, man. <laughs> you niggas talking a lot of shit. Y'all talking a lot of big shit. I wanna see, I wanna see what the sales numbers on that game look like. Cause it come out in what? Like two, two and a half weeks, two weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that. I want to see what the sales numbers look like. I'd be willing to bet all the money in my motherfucking bank account that that shit, that shit go crazy at the box office. <laughs> Obviously, I know that's, you know, the box office movies, I, you know, but I'm just making a joke. But I bet you that shit go ballistic. 
I bet I, I, I'd be willing to put so much cheese down, bro. I bet you that shit. I bet you that shit go ballistic. I bet you that shit go ballistic. International, domestic, it's gonna do it's gonna do gangbusters. <laughs> because niggas don't stand on their principles, bro. Look, bro, and I tweeted this shit. I tweeted this shit. It's niggas that's talking big game, big game about this bayonetta shit. In the middle of an Overwatch 2 game. Where the energy? Where is the energy? Everybody and their mama know Blizzard was on straight bullshit. Them niggas got like 50 goddamn sexual sexual harassment, sexual assault charges. They nigga, them niggas literally just got another one. They Blizzard just got another sexual assault charge. Like two, three days ago. I seen the IGN article and read that shit. But don't nobody give a fuck. When that when all that when that shit first came out, that like they my nigga. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, my, 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 my nigga, my nigga, my nigga. Them niggas, them niggas was on so much grimy time. Them niggas was on so much sexual assault, sexual harassment time. They drove a lady to herself, nigga. She, they gave her her 13th reason, my nigga. They abused this lady to the point where she, the only freedom that she saw was in her own death, my nigga. That shit is trife, bro. Everybody involved in that shit need to burn in hell. I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm so serious, bro. I'm so serious, bro. Them niggas need to, them niggas, them niggas need to 13 themselves, bro. No, no bullshit. But we all know, we all know it ain't, it ain't no secret. It ain't no secret. But guess what? Niggas is on they, niggas is on Overwatch 2 right now. Read all the articles, know all about the, the, the shit. Niggas is in niggas in niggas in the motherfucker in the queue right now talking about how about Tracer? I'm already Tracer. What about Widowmaker? I'm already Widowmaker. Like, bro, stop the cap, nigga. You niggas don't give a fuck. <laughs> stop the cap, bro. You niggas is you niggas is worried about social credit points. <laughs> you niggas just want to look like you give a fuck about shit. You don't really give a fuck. You don't, bro. Stop it. And I know what niggas gonna say. Niggas gonna be like, it's a difference between playing a free to play live service game. And paying sixty dollars for a, a single player game, true, true. I'm not going to that. You 100 percent you're right. But there's also a difference between playing a, a free to play live service game and pirating a single player game. You pirate a single player game, that's truly like zero support. Now you you could argue that like maybe it's like word of mouth. Like if you take like yeah, I pirated this shit, but it's it's cool. Like yeah, you you know you can you can argue that, but. That's like the least amount of support you can get a shit. If you pirate a single player joint, that's like zero support. Playing a free to play live service game, my nigga, that's still support, bro. I refuse to believe that you niggas are that stupid, bro. Like just because you don't slide them niggas no cheese don't mean it's not support, bro. Them niggas account for motherfuckers that hop on the game and don't buy shit. You still like you you still supporting the, the you still add into the popularity of the game, the analytics of the game. They you all that shit is very is still very much important to a game, even if it's not even if you're not dropping no cheese on it. I don't like come on bro, you niggas ain't that dumb. <laughs> you niggas is not that dumb, bro. You niggas is not that dumb. Playing a playing a free to play live service game is still support for that game, dog, and still support for that company. Don't give me that bullshit ass excuse. <laughs> Don't give me that, nigga. Don't give me that. You niggas don't give a fuck. And look, here's my thing, right? It's I'm not saying that like you can't like if you if you if you like I I realize they did some fucked up shit, but I like the game, so I'm gonna play it. Okay. Okay, fine. We all understand. We everybody in this bitch, we all smart enough to know that it's no um what, what's the term or the phrase? It's no um righteous it's no ethical it's no ethical consumption under a capitalist society we all know that i'm not trying to be on uh we we should improve society somewhat and yet you live in society i'm very intelligent i'm not trying to be on that type of time we all know that every every product every service that you uh that you give some cheese to or that you support has something fucked up in the back end everything every single thing bro whether it's food clothes entertainment shit electronics whatever 
it's always something fucked up in the background. We all know that. And I'm not trying to say that, like, I'm not trying to gas it up to the point where, like, niggas think that I'm saying you can't fuck with nothing that got, like, a, uh, some unethical shit in the background. Because if that was the case, we wouldn't be able to fuck with nothing. My problem is that you niggas act like you give a fuck. <laughs> you niggas act like you give a fuck, but you don't. <laughs> You don't Y'all niggas the type of niggas Like in a sitcom or whatever When it's like a, a, a big tree A big tree or something That's about to get torn down And niggas like Tie themselves to the tree And be like No You can't You can't bulldoze this tree Then the bulldozer come out Niggas get the unchained And them so, Niggas like Oh shit I gotta get the fuck <laughs> Y'all niggas don't give a fuck man <laughs> Like yo And nigg niggas be like Yo this is some real cynical doomer This is a real cynical doomer opinion And I mean Maybe but I'm just saying, like, I seen this shit. I seen all these boycotts, seen all these public outcries. And then when the product dropped, when the product dropped, you can't, you can't scroll through the timeline without seeing a clip of, of the shit. You can't scroll the timeline without seeing a clip of the shit. That's my whole point, bro. That shit ain't about to work. <laughs> like, you know, I wish it was. I wish niggas would stand 10 toes. I wish niggas would stand on 10 toes, but you won't. <laughs> now, I, I'm sure it's going to be some people. It's going to be some people that's really going to be like, nah, they, 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 they bullshitted the voice actor, my girl, uh, Helena Taylor. They disrespected her. They, they tried to throw her some, some little bullshit cheese. Fuck that. We're not going to do it. I know it's, it's going to be some motherfuckers that really stand 10 toes. And to you motherfuckers, I say, that's what's up. That's what's up. But for the rest of you motherfuckers that's just on Twitter talking, talking big shit, talking big game, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you niggas will be, you niggas will be purchasing Bayonetta and you niggas will be dropping clips and you niggas will be making fan cams and you niggas will forget who the fuck Helena Taylor was in like three months. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you, bro. Like, if you just a gamer and you like, I realize that these niggas, I know that these developers and shit do fucked up grimy shit all the time, but I, I just like playing games. Just say that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I'm not perfect. I didn't, like I said, bro, I understand there's no ethical consumption under a capitalist society. I understand that. It's certain shit. It's certain shit I stand 10 toes on. Like, I like Overwatch. When the first Overwatch came out, nigga, I was the top one Lucio in A. Boy, stop playing with a nigga. I was top when I'm I, I definitely wasn't. I'm lying like shit. <laughs> but I was decent though. I got like the diamond. I got I, I was diamond for like three seasons. Two or three seasons. Lucio man. This was back when the shit had like first dropped. I'm talking about I stopped I stopped playing Overwatch probably like season six, season five or six of the first Overwatch. And you know, I I see clips and niggas drop clips of the new shit and I, and it, it be calling me. Lucio Lil, his little three three round burst speaker gun be calling me. I be hearing him in my voice talking about, let's break it down. Speed, healing, you feel me? I be thinking about it, but I'm like, I'm not about to, I'm not, no, I don't give a fuck. Even if I, even if I don't hop on there and get them niggas no cheese, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even about to, I'm not even about to put in on their analytics, bro. Like I said, these niggas went so far with that, that frat boy culture shit. Of, of, of walking around and abusing all their female employees that they drove one lady to kill her, her to sue to, to 13. I, I, you can't say them words. <laughs> they gave her a 13th reason is my point. I'm not fucking with them niggas. Them niggas can eat my whole dick. Everybody at that bitch ass company. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. If you wasn't one of them niggas that did the shit, but you, you sat by and watched the shit, you a bitch too, nigga. You a bitch too, nigga. Stop it, bro. <laughs> You feel me? I don't know. I'm rambling at this point, but I just wanted to get my motherfucking opinion on, bro. Real life. I know you niggas. I know you niggas ain't about to really. Y'all ain't about to stand into us. Some of you niggas will. Some of you niggas is, is upstanding, up, up, upstanding motherfuckers that like you ain't just talking shit. You went on. You went on Twitter. You probably threw some cheese at a at a at a at an actual motherfucker. Like, cause I know the voice actor. She said like, throw some cheese at a charity that you fuck with. I'm sure some of you motherfuckers really did that, and some of you motherfuckers really not about to buy that game. And to you motherfuckers, I commend you. But for all you motherfuckers that's just talking big shit on Twitter just to make it seem like you were you were cool dude and you give a fuck about these these uh these these social movements, these I don't wanna call it social justice, but like you know, like the you know shit like this, like these, you know, activist movements. 
And then, like, when it when it really come down to it, you really on your Russell Westbrook shit, the Russell Westbrook gift, where that nigga like he trying to eat the burger, but nobody, nobody like, so nobody can like uh, like see him eating the burger. He like, that's how you niggas be, bro. Stop the cap. But y'all have a blessed day though, even if you is a, a bitch ass nigga that's just talking shit for social credit. I hope you have a good day. <laughs>